his response is so much better now. These fish can take a little bit of time before they adjust. Look at this, the tanks are out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today, we're just gonna give you an, another update video as to what is going on here. Basically, my whole facility now has become like a big storage space. A lot of clutter, just uh, moving things around, sorting things out, making some space so that we can start packing and getting ready to ship all our stuff out, right? And that wasn't possible until I got some stuff out, made some floor space, but uh, we're just gonna walk through and show you what's going on. Now, we took apart all the floating tubs. I'm tucking it away within the tanks itself so that we can maximize on the shipping space of everything. Given that it's the holidays, I'm moving a little bit slowly, feeling a little bit lazy, uh, enjoying the downtime, so to speak, okay? Um, and at the same time, I'm going to give you an update on the, the fish that we brought in last week. Everyone's doing good. We're actually walking right by the peacocks. For some reason in this tank, they're very skittish. They're doing well. They're eating. Now, if I walk back there, they're going to start uh, scrambling a little bit. So I'm going to avoid it. So I'm just going to zoom in for you here and let you guys see. They're all doing really well. They're eating well. Uh, let's walk around to over here. So all these tanks, they're still pretty much empty. I do keep it running and cycling with uh, food. You know, I leave shrimp in there so that it can rot inside the tank and uh, continue to produce ammonia. And uh, every once in a while, I also add extra ammonia to keep the, uh, the aerobic bacteria fed so that they, uh, when I'm ready to add more fish for any reason, I don't have to worry about them being cycled. Let's see here, we got some of uh, these black wolfish and uh, this beautiful rainbow wolfish. Look at how uh, he's keeping his fin up nice and high, almost like he's uh, showing off, or what's the term, peacocking, is that the term? If you guys remember this flower horn, you see how different he is now? He's responsive, he's waiting for me, he sees me, and the colors come back very nicely. He's eating better now. Unfortunately, I don't have food ready for him right now, but look at that. His response is so much better now than from before. He finishes his food. That treatment that I did with the levomisole, it seemed to have worked. Now, I didn't see any you know, tapeworm or white stringy poop come out. Maybe I missed it, who knows? But I definitely see a much better reaction to food. And as I've always told you guys, response to food is a very big indicator of how well the fish is doing. And then number two is their, their color and their appearance. So they're looking good and hopefully his head will grow back to its full potential. Now his little next door neighbor right here, he's doing fine, he's always been doing fine. So we never really worried about him. Um, look at that, now he's coming after my finger. And I did give him the treatment as well even though he didn't need it, but I figured since I was doing the other one, I did this one too. So if you guys ever have a problem like that at, at home, you can give it a try and do the same thing what I did and uh, hopefully it works for you guys as well. We got some arapimas back here. These are the larger ones. Um, I would say they're about six to seven inches. These are available on the website at predatoryfins.com. And then we have some smaller ones. And uh, these have been uh, flying out the door. And I guess everyone seems to want to have the smaller ones and that's a good choice. You know, it gives you more time to enjoy the fish before it outgrows your tank, right? And uh, what else do we got here? Oh, you know what? Very special fish. You guys saw it in the unboxing. We do have one sitting here, and it is the um, Exantic Goonch. He's doing really well too, and he's pounding down the shrimp. Let me move him down. He likes to hide behind this air pump for some reason. He's looking for some cover, but I didn't want to put any driftwood in there so that he doesn't get hurt, uh, tucked away behind the driftwood. But he's doing very, very nicely. Eating very well. I was pleasantly surprised. Usually, you know, these kind of fish take a little bit of time before they start eating. These fish can take a little bit of time before they adjust, but he actually started eating right away. We'll see, this guy will be here for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as I can. Let's see. Oh, and of course, the goldfish, right? 
Two Face, Batman, and Robin. But um, let's see here. What else is going on? If you guys are wondering, the Fatnoid is still here. Most likely, this fish will be coming with us to New York. He's doing fine. All these empty tanks. Uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, but I'm actually enjoying the peace and quiet. But we did get this shipment in, and uh, so I am dealing with some fish. We got the uh, Goliath tiger fish, the African tigers. I'm going to flick on the light here to see if they're going to freak out. All right, not bad. Not bad. We got a nice school of them. They're doing very good. They're eating chopped shrimp. And they're a good size. They're a good solid five. You know, some are uh, a little bit over. We got the albino silvers. Really cool. I'm going to show you something. Typically, these guys are carnivorous fish. They eat any type of uh, meaty frozen foods. I just tried feeding them some uh, pellets and they, they seem to take to it. So maybe this batch was raised on uh, dry food and uh, that's a very big convenience for all you guys at home who like to feed dry food. Here, let me pause for a second and uh, grab some food and show you guys. All right, I had to come up on a step ladder, push this cover over a little bit and I'm gonna start dropping these pellets in. Look at that, fellas. All right. All you guys and gals, I don't, I don't want to be uh, just excluding the women and just saying fellas. I apologize, there is a reflection here, but they are eating the floating sticks, and they're eating it very well. They're not just uh, mouthing it and chewing it up and spitting it out. Let me put more here. There we go. So, all you guys at home who uh, want silver arowanas, or these are actually albino silver arowanas, and looking for the convenience of being able to feed them pellet food. There you go. This is a no-brainer right here. No training required. They are all eating pellets and look at that. They're dying for more. But you know what? I gotta feed the tank on the other side as well just to be fair. So we're over here and let me drop some in here as well. Very nice. All right, so let's move on here. These are now sold out. Uh, they're not available on the website anymore, but we will get more. As you can see, there was a whole tank full and uh, only three left in this tank and they're gonna be shipped out within the next day or two. We, have, we still actually have some electric eels. Let me turn on the light here. And these guys have been with us for, I think, over a year, I've been growing them since the last time I showed you these eels. So, um, yeah, they're still here doing really, really well, growing nicely. I'm probably going to make them um, my new pets at the new place in Long Island. I mean, I, I think I have like six of them. I can probably still let go of one or two, but they've been with me for so long, I think um, I will keep them. But if anyone's interested, just let me know. I can sacrifice one or two for uh, you guys. Uh, the Goonch, they're doing well and eating cut shrimp. And these guys are about 12 inches in size. They're hiding behind uh, the sponge filter there. And what I also did with those Goonch as a precautionary measure, I have treated them with uh, Prozzi and Metro. You can see it, I have it sitting right here on the counter. That's pretty much the update. We got the uh, hyphen loaches. For all you koi people and um, who have cold water tanks but uh, these guys can go in both warm and cold water they're doing very nicely eating uh, pellet food uh, these are the blue machines pounding down pellet food with no problems at all and uh, what do we got we got the uh, Bulgarian green angels as well as the smoky blue and the marble blue and now we have the albino clown knives these guys uh, are doing great, but they're shy as well. They like to hide. They all like to huddle behind the sponge. I got to tell you guys, I am really, really enjoying these guppies. It's so strange, you know, going from big, big stingrays and now to having these little guys, but just having this big school of them, it's so much fun. Uh, and I, I don't know why, but I just enjoy their color and the way they're swimming and how they fill up the whole tank. Peaceful. And uh, 
easy to take care of. I just drop in some pellet food, uh, not pellet food, but I've been feeding them the Vibra Bites and they're just doing really well. I did have a lot of people asking in the comments of the last two videos, are these fish available? Um, where can they buy them and so forth? And they were a little bit confused as to why I'm still bringing in fish when I'm supposed to be moving. Well, this moving process is going to take a little bit of time. And during that time, I still need to, you know, cover some overhead. So that's what this is for. But if you guys are interested in getting these, any of these fish that you saw here today, it's all going to be available at the Predatory Fins website, okay? And I will put a link in the description below, and I will show it to you guys right here, predatoryfins.com. You guys can go there, check it out. It's a brand new website, and it's, it's, it's fabulous. I know the old site was hard to navigate, hard to find fish. Now it's a breeze. Head over there if you're interested in any of these fish. Some of the fish that are out of stock, like those geos, uh, we had a lot of interest in. We probably, I can't say probably, we're gonna try our best to bring in more before the holiday season is over. If that does happen, it will be up on the website. So just keep an eye out for that and just regularly check back to the website to see if it's available. So that's basically the update here in the facility. Hold on, let me turn off this light, it's in my eye. Uh, as I was telling you guys earlier, I had to make space. So I'm gonna show you what happened today. Look at this, the tanks are out, all right? These were the first tanks that I had brought in to start up the facility. Um, there's still two here. These two I plan to uh, bring with me, but I let go some of these. We had a, a local koi place that was interested in the tanks and I made him a deal and he came in this morning and he took it all. Thank you, Alan. It was Alan from uh, Golden West Koi in Orange County. So he took all those. If, uh, you want to see the tanks? <laughs> it's going to be there. But it's it's kind of a, a strange feeling because these were the first tanks and this was, was the beginning and the start uh, of the Center for Stingray Biology. And now that's gone. But you know what? In life, we just always have to move on. Now I have to deal with the cleanup of all this foam. I'm going to recycle some of them because the two tanks I have here were not insulated. So I will pull some of these panels and insulate the other two tanks. And then I'm probably gonna scrap the rest or maybe I'll just store it so that when we start packing and loading the truck and containers for moving our stuff, I can use it as cushion and to, to wedge and hold things in place. All right, so basically guys, that is the update that I have for you guys today. If anything uh, further, develops anything interesting anything newsworthy i will definitely keep you guys in the loop thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys soon hey daddy what happened in the back nothing happened in the back everything's fine I what are you the talking other about side. the other side mm -hmm. nothing's wrong with the other side empty. no it's not what are you talking about yes, it is. show me what are you talking about it's not empty <laughs> oh my god what happened what happened here? I don't know. When I came Holy in the cow. office, it was really all messy. Looks like a tornado hit. Uh huh. Somebody stole my tanks. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. You said yesterday that a person will come today and then. Alright, guys, I'm busted.